For esports games like Valorant, CS2, and Fortnite, buying an expensive graphics card is one of the most common mistakes gamers make. These games don't scale the same way AAA titles do, and throwing more GPU power at them often does nothing for your FPS. What actually matters is choosing a graphics card that's efficient, consistent, and well-suited for competitive play. Today, I'll break down the best budget GPUs for esports, so you can get high frame rates where it counts without overspending. Before we get into the list, it's important to understand why esports games behave differently from most modern AAA titles. Games like Valorant, CS2, and Fortnite are designed to run at high frame rates on a wide range of hardware. At 1080p competitive settings, performance is often limited more by your CPU than your graphics card. That means spending more money on a powerful GPU doesn't always translate into higher FPS. For esports, consistency, low latency, and stable frame times matter far more than ultra graphics settings. To keep this list focused on competitive play, these GPUs aren't ranked by graphics quality or ray tracing. Each card is ranked based on esports performance at 1080p, including average FPS, frame time consistency, and latency. I also considered power efficiency, driver stability, and current used market value. The goal here is simple maximum competitive performance for the least amount of money. Starting the list at number 5 is the GTX 1050 Ti. This card still earns a spot because esports games are incredibly forgiving when it comes to GPU power. For titles like Valorant and CS2, the 1050 Ti can easily deliver smooth gameplay at 1080p competitive settings. It also doesn't require a power connector, making it a safe and simple upgrade for older PCs and office systems. It's not the fastest card on this list, but if you're on a tight budget and just want reliable esports performance, the GTX 1050 Ti still gets the job done. At number 4 is the GTX 1650, and for many esports players, this is the real sweet spot. Compared to the 1050 Ti, it delivers a noticeable jump in performance, especially in fast-paced competitive games. In titles like Valorant, CS2, and Fortnite, the GTX 1650 can comfortably push high frame rates at 1080p competitive settings. Most models don't need a power connector, which makes it extremely easy to drop into pre-built systems. If you want smoother gameplay and higher FPS without increasing power requirements, the GTX 1650 is a very safe pick. At number 3 is the Radeon RX 6400, and in esports titles, this card can deliver some surprisingly high frame rates. In games like Valorant and Fortnite, the RX 6400 can easily push well over 144 FPS at 1080p competitive settings. However, there's an important catch. The RX 6400 uses a PCIe X4 interface, which means performance can drop on older systems with slower PCIe support. If you're running a modern platform, it's a fantastic esports GPU. But on older PCs, it's not always the best choice. At number 2 is the GTX 1660, including the 1660 Super, and this is where esports performance becomes effortless. These cards can push extremely high frame rates in competitive titles, often limited more by your CPU than the GPU itself. For 1080p esports gaming, they deliver excellent frame time consistency and low latency, which matters far more than visual quality. They do require a power connector, so they're not meant for office PCs, but on the used market, they offer some of the best FPS per dollar you can get in 2026. If you want top-tier esports performance without paying high-end prices, the GTX 1660 series is an easy recommendation. At number one is the Radeon RX 6600, and for esports gaming, this card is honestly overkill in the best way possible. At 1080p competitive settings, the RX 6600 can push extremely high frame rates in games like Valorant, CS2, and Fortnite, often hitting the limits of your CPU and monitor rather than the GPU. It delivers excellent frame time consistency, very low latency, and smooth gameplay even on high refresh rate displays. While it does require a power connector, its efficiency and used market pricing make it one of the best performance per dollar GPUs available in 2026. If you want maximum esports performance without stepping into expensive high-end cards, the RX 6600 is the best all-around choice. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.